Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about June 24th, uh, League of Legends LOL DFS slate. It's another four game slate, two games in China and two games in Korea. Um, overall, it's going to be a pretty, uh, it's going to be a little bit closer uh, of matchups here today, I think. Um, in Korea, we have HLE versus DRX and then Freddy Brian versus Gen G. And then in um, LPL in China, we have OMG versus LNG, and then JDG versus Ultra Prime. Um, you see here, LNG is now uh, at minus 435, and then JDG is at minus 325. So both um, favorites gaining attraction here um, from the sports book side. And then in Korea, let's look at their odds as well. DRX is at minus 600. They're gaining attraction as well. And then Genji at minus 1200, which is about the same as it was earlier this morning. So, um, yeah, I think in Korea, let's dive into those first. I think uh, it's, it's a much easier analysis, I think. Genji versus Fred Brian um, should be an easier, uh, you know, matchup to predict. I think Genji should win this pretty in domination, you know, a fast dominant fashion. Um, Genji has been one of the best teams, probably the top two teams, in my opinion, in the LCK, along with T1. I know Genji had a huge game against Damwon Kia the other day uh, to start the week off, and they won two to one. And this could be a letdown spot for Genji um, after having that marquee matchup um, against Damwon Kia. But Brian has been has been playing really poorly, um, and I just haven't seen that upside in an underdog like that, in an underdog team like that, where you know that upside needs to be there for me to pick. I think if, if you know if I were to pick them as an upset pick, and for DFS purposes, as you guys probably have heard me say about Fred and Brian. They have the probably one of the lowest CKPM combined kills per minute, uh, you know, uh, metrics uh, in all major regions combined. So, you know, Brianna is not a good choice to pick as an up, uh, 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 as an underdog for GPP purposes. I would just completely fake fade them. Um, I would just completely have you know mark them off um, for DFS purposes. Uh, for for like betting purposes straight up betting i mean yeah i mean i, I would take a shot maybe with a small unit um as an underdog to upset um like i said it's a good letdown spot for genji after a huge matchup against damon kia but i think not like nine out of the ten times i think genji should win this i think in my opinion and then the kill upside for for genji playing against brian who likes to play slow yeah i think genji's kill upside is reduced i think there's a little there's a cap. There's going to be a cap for Genji's kill upside today. Um, I definitely think they they'll win, and I think their team spot would be probably the best choice. I think. Um, and Genji sometimes Genji likes to kind of roll on their opponents, and they like to you know kind of sometimes. I mean, they did that in the spring split at times. You know, even against opponents like Breon, where Genji just you know pours on um, their opponents by just racking up kills. But um, the way that Breon has been playing this season, like very very slow. So I think even then, I think Genji's kill upside has it's going to be reduced today. So I don't really like Genji for GPP purposes. Um, I think Genji is it's really good for cash. I think. I mean, you are pretty sure that Genji's going to win the series, right? So just a matter of if they're going to score enough, well enough, and a 2-0 series victory. And sometimes, like, Genji could drop a game in the series, um, like I said, in a letdown spot. Um, it could happen, but uh, I think Gen I'm, I'm pretty confident Gen that Genji's going to win the series overall. And then DRX versus HLE. Um, HLE has been playing pretty poorly as well. I do want to see this one thing real quick. How HLE's players have been playing and then how HLE as a team has been playing real quick. I have not I, I have not been watching HLE as much uh, here um, in the summer split so far. I do want to see this thing real quick. 
Vista and Dudu, the only positive in goal difference at 10 minutes. Yeah, that's not good. On fleek has been bad. Karis in the mid lane has been really bad. Wow. And Horde going up against DRX and Zika has been lights out. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be a huge mismatch, in my opinion. Where's LCK at? Team stats. H O E D R X. Yeah, I'm pretty sure DRX should win this as well. Um, let me see who HLE got a game off of against KDF. Okay, that's, nah. KDF has not been that great either. So they lost to Gen.G 2-0. And then who did they play against? DRX. DRX is 4-0. No? Yeah, against Brian's not good. Nongshim's okay. DRX should win this easily as well. Um, like I said, I think the biggest weakness for uh HLE Hanwha Life is in the mid lane, uh, just based on the statistics. Um, and I think that DRX can exploit that with Zika, who's been playing really well. Um, Piosik has not been playing well in the jungle. So that concerns me a little bit. Um, but in every other lane, I think. Like Dudu Kingen, I think that's gonna be a wash maybe in favor of Kingen. Um, but Zika has been playing really well, at least from the games I've watched. Statistically, he's okay. And Deft against Sam D. Yeah, I think DRX should win this as well, like I said. But in terms of the kill upside, let me see. Breon's obviously low, like I said, 0. 0.40. That's really bad. Against Genji was it 0.64, so 0.52 ish on average. Um, and then who is it? HLE DRX. Sorry, my brain's not working right now. Um, DRX HLE. Okay, HLE has been playing a little bit faster on the faster side. Who are they playing? Who are they playing against? Genji. Okay. Genji and Guangdong Freaks. They're all about the same here. HLE has been playing faster. Yeah, I think I really like DRX today. Um, even though DRX has been playing slow, who they play against? Brian plays slow. Nongshim, where they, they play faster, right? Yeah, so I think DRX's CKPM has been reduced by the fact that they had played against uh, Fred Brion, who plays slow. So that should be like up to 0. 0.6 something without that series against Brion because Nongshin plays fast. So I think 0. 0.6 something with HLE. Yeah, I think uh, I like DRX quite a bit today. Like I said, I think in terms of the individual matchups. I think Piosik in the jungle against uh, on fleek is probably the only um, concern that I have for DRX, but in every other lane, I think DRX should have the advantage. So I like DRX here today um, in terms of, you know, the winning chances and then the kill upside compared to the Genji Fredebrion matchup. All right, and the chi in China, I think it's a little more complicated in, in the in analysis. I think, first of all, I need to point out that LNG is starting Lumao uh, over uh, Iwandi for the second series in a row, basically. Well, I mean, I guess Lumao kind of subbed in uh, in place of Iwandi, and then I guess he's been starting since then. Um, I think LNG looked a little bit, tiny bit better um, with uh, Lumao at support, but I don't think that really... I don't think that really makes that much of a difference, in my opinion. Lumao is more of a conservative uh, support, in my opinion. So I think that reduces their kill upside a little bit in the bottom lane, especially. But going up against OMG, as you guys know, OMG likes to give up a lot of kills and a lot of deaths. So this matchup is going to be pretty fast, compared to, especially compared to both LCK games. 
So you definitely, I think today you definitely want to have for GPP like part of the LPL matchup. I don't think LCK stack's going to win the GPP in my opinion, right? So you need to have a piece of at least one stack, whether short or long, probably long. VRX is going to be the only one that I'll be interested in or Genji, I guess. I don't know. Um, but you definitely have to have that other stack um, in, with an LPL team today um, and especially in the OMG LNG but then at the same time J JDG um, has been the fastest uh, or the bloodiest um, team um, in the LPL so far and that that speaks volumes you know to their um, you know DFS friendliness really um, as long as you think they'll win right and even if they if even if you don't think they'll win I mean I think their opponent benefits from the fact that JDG likes to play fast and skirmish um, so I think all of these four teams are really in play today in terms of kill upside. So I think ultimately, like for GBP, I think it's going to be a stack, two stacks of LPL teams today. So given all of that, who do I think is going to win, right? So OMG versus LNG, like I said, LNG has been playing pretty well. Um, I do want to see some stats here real quick. Um, LPL summer. LPL China player stats. All right. How is it? OMG versus LNG. So OMG has been playing faster, like I said. Um, you see like 0.83 and point so even like they're on, on average, it's gonna be around 0.78, which is significantly higher than any LCK team, CKPM that we just talked about, right? Like we talked about, you know, uh, DRXs uh, and um, HLEs, CKPM being around 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So you see like LPL teams generally have higher uh, kill upside. Um, and then especially OMG. Yeah, I mean, any OMG games really, uh, I think increases, give, gives a little uptick in the kill upside department and here in the jungle like you see lng dominating like right over omg a key has has not been playing well in my opinion um so i think tarzan will definitely have an advantage there the laning phase though i mean it's about similar um but in jungle i think that's critical uh for lng's uh um teammates tarzan's teammates for lng to know that Tarzan is going to dominate and put pressure around the map, especially in their jungle um, and the securing objectives. I think it's going to come in handy. So as long as you think Ale and Shanji are going to go even, I think Ale is going to, I mean, Shanji has been playing pretty well, actually, for that team. Um, I know Cream has not been. I, mean, I know he got subbed out and then now he got subbed back in. Um, so I think he's a little more motivated than before to play well. But going up against Doimbi and then in the bottom line is probably what I have the most questions for both teams, Abel and Cold versus Light and Lamau. Lamau, like I said, I don't think it's, he's a huge upgrade over at Wandi, but um, Light has not been the rock that he needs to be as an AD carry uh, in this AD carry friendly meta um, for League of Legends uh, competitions right now. And Abel actually is very, very talented and Cold is really good. So um I think as long as that does not go awry against LNG, I think LNG should be fine. I do want to see some stats here real quick. LNG, OMG. Uh, Ale has been dying a lot. Cold has been dying a lot. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think LNG should win this. <laughs> I do think OMG could take a game off. 
um, depending on how their bottom lane fares, I think. Um, but I'm actually willing to say that LNG wins two to zero here today because of that jungle difference that I just pointed out. Um, I do think the Wimby has been in much better form this split compared to the spring split. Um, so I think that synergy is good. Um, and I think that is, synergy is very important for OMG's chances to win. I think anytime OMG wins, it has to be through the top half of the um, map, in my opinion. I think the bottom lane does their own thing more than more often than not. Um, so I do think, as long as Light and Lomao, I think Lomao coming in, I think he brings in more experience. I think you know having played well again uh, for JDG and then coming over to LNG and competing against Iwandi in that role. I think um, they're a little more conservative, like I said, uh, with Lomao in the lineup. Um, I do want to see here what their CKPM is, like I said, 0. 0.73. I do want to see what it looks like in the first. Okay. So they play their first series and it was 0. 0.60. And then next series 0. 0.69 increased it. 0. 0.73, so it keeps going up actually. So with Lamau, I guess it's been it's been going up a little bit. So that's actually interesting, I think. Um, where is it? Yeah. So I like LNG quite a bit. Like I said, I like both teams for GPP purposes, but I think in my prediction, I think I'm gonna pick LNG to win um, with good kill upside. Um, I think Tarzan and Doin B is gonna be. The difference maker over Aki and Cream. Um, I think Ale and Shanji, Ale dies, has been dying a lot. And then in the bottom lane, I think it's just going to go pretty even, I think. JDG versus Ultra Prime. I'm actually surprised that JDG is not a bigger favorite. Um, they're at minus 300. I guess Ultra Prime has been playing well. I don't, I don't think, I don't feel like they have been, but I guess they have. I mean, they're five and three. Who did they beat? Actually, I do want to see that about, uh, sorry, to go back. Oh, I just want to finish my analysis on OMG LNG, and then I'll dive into the other matchup. Sorry. All right, teams, LPL. What is it? OMG LNG. All right. Sorry, guys. I, want, I wanted to make sure that I give you the full analysis before I move on to the next matchup. All right, in the summer, LNG has played against BLG, who's a pretty good team. They beat them two to one. And anyone's legend, you see now that they've been they are, they are pretty bad. And then you they beat Thunder Talk. So two bad teams, one decent team. LNG is somewhat battle tested. And then OMG played against Ultra Prime, who I guess is okay. We're about to you know, analyze them in a, here in a second. And then Rare Adam, who's been horrible, but they lost against them. And then JDG, they beat them in the first game and then lost the series, uh, got reversed, reverse swept. Um, JDG, JDG is a good team, though. So one bad team, one good team, and then one okay team. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> uh, I like the fact that they beat JDG in one game, though, especially in the first game. That means they have the potential to pull something off like that. And I cannot believe they lost to Rare Adam. That's a bad loss. I think they should have won that. And then they lost two to zero against Ultra Prime. So anyway, all right. Well, I think that's still so let us, I think that kind of just helps me to maintain my prediction in LNG. I think nothing really changes. All right, JDG Ultra Prime. Let's look at that real quick. Um, JDG Ultra Prime. JDG has beaten 
They play a lot of games so far. Top esports, that's really good. But that was first series of the uh, summer split. And then LGD, who's been playing okay lately. You know, they beat uh, AL today, this morning. Um, so JDG playing well. Good team, good team. Good team in the EDG. Wow. And then OMG. Yeah, I mean, they've been playing lights out. Best top two teams, right? Top two team right now, I think. Ultra Prime, uh, they beat OMG, like I said. They lost to BLG 2-1. to one. They came back and won against Rare Adam. Rare Adam's bad. BLG is okay. OMG is okay. So, yeah, I mean, I think Ultra Prime didn't play that many good teams, right? So I think JDG should win this. Um, in terms of the individual matchups, Kanavi over Hacker for sure. Uh, yeah, Gao has been playing okay. Low kill participation, I remember. But same for Crying. Actually, Crying... Crying actually on the opposite side, on the other hand, does a lot of kill. He does a good job getting involved in a lot of uh, team fights, um, playing utility support, uh, support champions basically in the mid lane, in my opinion. Um, but he doesn't get a lot of kills, but still he helps out his team quite a bit. Um, in the bottom lane, Hope and Missing have been pretty well, really good. And Elk and Shoutsy is pretty good as well. So I think, yeah, I mean, I think UP has a pretty good roster. Um, Zoom against 369 and Zoom used to play for JDG so I think that's a you know former team revenge narrative there for, <laughs> for Zoom so I do think he will have a extra motivation to play well against his former team in JDG but all in all JDG has been playing really well um, I do like JDG to pull off of a series win 2-1 two to, two to probably 2-2 two to, two to, yeah, probably 2-1 to one. I think Ultra Prime has the roster to pull that off. Um, but yeah, in terms of kill upside, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be high as well. You see 0 0.91, 0 0.86. Wow. So this actually, statistically speaking, this is the matchup to target, right? I mean, JDG is probably going to be very popular with high kill upside. So you, I think you kind of have to go with them in cash uh, for opportunity cost reasons um i think jdg is probably gonna be the highest owned actually i don't know they are the least favorite with you know i guess at minus 300 minus 450 yeah i don't know i don't know what the ownership is gonna be for jdg but they have the highest kill upside um in terms of you know like combined kills per minute metric and all that and they have a pretty good chance to beat Ultra Prime here. I mean, that's a sizable odd. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today in terms of the individual uh, kills uh, for prize picks. Pick, picks, I guess. Um, I like the DRX players today, I think, um, especially Zika. Like I said, Zika is going up against um, Karis, I guess, in the mid lane. Um, DRX uh, Zika should uh, feast off of that matchup. Um, and then the other player that I really like, other than Zika, is probably probably I'm gonna go with. Tarzan, based on that <clears throat> jungle control percentage difference that I just pointed out a few minutes ago, I like Tarzan to uh, probably score over whatever the kill or kill plus assist threshold they have on that web page. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Uh, but good luck out there. And let me know if you have any questions. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.